Hey guys, my name is Sexy Dude, or Muck, spelled backwards if that's what you want to call me. I am here with another do tutorial, as uh, my good friend Blood Angel reminded me to call it that, and uh, what a great name, Blood Angel. Thank you, love you, man. Best. And today, we're going to learn how to ride some pigs, so let's go. Yeah, so step one, get a saddle. Yeah. Step two, right-click the saddle on the pig. Step three, right-click the pig. And step four, get a carrot on a stick. All right, yeah, we're going. We're going. Move. Ah, ah. Come on, can you, can you get out? Yeah. Close that for etiquette. Woo! Yeah. All right, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Uh, as you can see from the title, it's not how to ride a pig, but I thought it'd be a little funny if I did that. Today we are going to be crafting and using a lightning rod. Alright guys, this is uh, part of the Greg Tech mod. Um, that's an add-on. Greg Tech is an add-on to IC2 or Industrial Craft 2. Or Industrial Craft do. If that's what you want to say. That's what I like to say. But uh, it's an add-on to make Industrial Craft a million times harder. So this lightning rod is part of that mod, Greg Tech. Uh, link will be in the description to both IC2 and Greg Tech mod and the Feed the Beast launcher that I'm playing on. I'm playing on the Ultimate Pack, by the way, because it is Ultimate and it, it's, it's a pack. Sorry, there's a card that just passed by, and I hope you didn't hear that, but I know you did. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, so crafting this bad boy. Okay. Uh, first of all, you're going to need some refined iron, which you... What the hell? Which is you just smell iron. In a furnace, you put that into a machine that turns into a machine block right here. Put that with some carbon plates, which you compress that, which you can get that, coal dust, and some advanced alloy which is pretty cool. Get an advanced machine block there. Uh, and then you get use titanium and chrome, like so, around an advanced machine block to get a highly advanced machine block. That is the first component. Next, we are going to need these energy flow circuits. So first of all, you're going to need to get yourself some copper cables, get yourself an electric circuit, uh, get an advanced circuit, boom. Lapatron crystal, which is a sapphire to electric circuits and um, some lapis. And then you're just going to get the advanced circuit that I showed you over there, the Lapatron crystal I just showed you, and then the platinum ingot, which you get from uh, um, you can get from what is it from? I forget what it's from. Uh, you have to industrial grind fair sword to get a tiny pile so it's it's kinda hard you have to be pretty advanced to get a platinum ingot uh, so this machine definitely is gonna be you need to be way advanced for this machine next we are going to need lapatronic crystals I showed you how to or lapatronic energy orb first you're gonna need uh, some lapatronic crystals eight of them and an iridium plate you're gonna need two of those to make this um, some superconductor covers, which are made like so. Uh, you're going to need to get the superconductors, which is superconductor covers with glass fiber cables and gold. Here's how you make glass fiber cable. You can use, I forget what it is. What? Let's see what else. Redstone. You only get four, but if you use silver, you get six. So I would recommend using silver. Make that to make superconductors. You're going to need two superconductors. Um, the highly advanced machine block from over there, the energy flow circuits that we made right right here, um, and then the laptronic energy orb, the highly advanced machine block, superconductors, to make a super condensator. So those are the three components, the super condensator, the energy flow circuit, and the highly advanced machine block. Those are the three components that you'll need. Obviously you can see the advanced machine block, not so tough. These, the, that, these two are pretty tough you gotta be have some supplies for those and then you're gonna put them all together in this formation get the energy flow circuits four of them in the corner four highly advanced machine blocks and then a super condensator in the middle and that'll give you the lightning rod yes now over here as you can see uh, I have it set up 
right here. First of all, you are going to need to place the lightning rod near bedrock. Uh, you put it as you have to put it like as low, very low. It doesn't have to be on bedrock, but it has to be low. Uh, I just got a message on Skype. Sorry about that. But it has to be low to the ground. Um, this is super flat, so it's not too far from the ground. But on a regular world, it'd be a lot lower. And then you need to get these iron poles, iron fences. Uh, iron fences. And, oops. Get these iron fences. And that's just refined iron in the shape of a fence. You get 12. And you're going to need a lot of these. You need to get these all the way up, all the way to the top of the building level. Like as high as you can go until it doesn't let you go any higher. Um, that's what you're going to need to do. This bad boy spits out 25 million EU, but it's only when lightning strikes. So while we wait, we might as well turn on the rain, wait for the lightning to strike while I talk about it. So, the uh, this bad boy, every time lightning strikes, 25 million EU. Here's some uh, options for you. Uh, you could store it in this. Ooh, oh, see, it's getting energy. Boom. This is going as well. Look how much energy this is getting. It's ridiculous. Oh, God. That's already filled up. You would obviously have scrap in here. Let's see how much we would get. Let's fill it up with scrap. All right. 6%, 7%. It's going pretty fast. This is going up quite a bit. So if this produces 25 million EU, MFSU only holds 10 million. So you need, for each strike, you need two and a half MFSUs. So that is quite a bit of power. Uh, the, I would, the matter fabricator uh, is good, but for the MFSU, beware. Uh, you can't just hook the MFSU directly to this. It will blow up because the lightning rod spits out 8,192 EU per tick. And this thing can only handle 512 EU per tick. So you're going to need to get a high voltage transformer, which is made like this. Uh, just an energy crystal, just like that. Uh, electric circuit, and then two four, four times insulated high voltage cable. So um, you don't forget that because you don't want to blow up this MFSU. Um, but if this wasn't, if this MFSU wasn't receiving power, this matter fabricator would probably have like, I don't know, probably about, uh, I think it would have just one, because the matter fabricator just eats energy. Um, but yeah, so those are some options that you could use. You could probably find some other options for this as well. Uh, you could probably find some other things to hook up to this. Um, yeah, I just. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. I hope it helped out. If you were curious about the lightning rod and this Greg Tech add-on, is it still going? It's still going. We're at uh, we're at five million. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, this is uh, this is a good source of power. Um, using this, I would recommend using a rainmaker. It would get you the most amount of power. But that's if you're on feed the beast. Uh, or using forestry as well. So this is just tin and glass, and uh, I know you need to start it. You need some, let's just do it on camera. <laughs> you need like ion, iodine, io. Let's see if we could find it. Iod iodine cast capsule. So let's turn off the rain. Okay, come on. If we got any more strikes, this is still going. We got an E uh, EU matter. This has stopped. Okay. So this received six million EU from that one hit, even as the matter fabricator was going, which was sucking out power. Guarantee that. So you see here now it's building up power. You can see this middle thing. Once it gets to the top, it will start raining. So that is also a option for you if you are using this on a single player world. I would recommend the rainmaker. If not, if you're playing on a server. You'd have to like do it when no one's on or tell them or ask them if it's all right. I would recommend. That's just being courteous. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial. If you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying. And there's a the Rainmaker going. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next tutorial or Let's Play I Do or whatever if you guys keep watching my other stuff. Uh, anyway, have a nice day. I'll see you guys on the flip side later.